Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business podcast, where each episode we have been walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. Now, this is probably going to be the last episode, whether this is your first episode or your last episode, I thought I would kind of rehash what it is we have been talking about through this 30 part podcast. There might be a couple bonus ones that come later, but for now, this is the end of the road. So I think it's important that we turn around and we go over the core things that we have been talking about. And if you're new to the podcast, just know that this is what you're going to find as you go through the series. And if this is your last one, then welcome. Let's get ready to set you up to hit the ground running. So the first thing that we talked about was choosing the right business. Listen, you will be living this business day in and day out. And it's important that you choose a business that you can see yourself doing all of the time. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be your passion project like you always hear people talk about, but it does have to be one that you don't hate. It has to be one that you can see yourself doing and go, you know what, this isn't so bad. I think I can see myself doing this. No big issue. Because I'm telling you, it is going to weigh heavy on you certain times more than others. Uh, You know, if you have visions that you're going to build this to a certain degree, and then you're going to turn around and sell it in five years, and I can swallow it for five years, then that's fine. But the main thing is, is that a lot of times people will pick a business because they think that it's going to be rocking and rolling and yet they hate that business. So you need to make sure that that's not what you do. The second thing you need to do when you're choosing the right business is remember, you need to make sure that you're picking a business that the community needs or the ideal customer needs. Because if you're picking a business that people just don't need, then you're going to be having a heck of a time trying to get it off the ground. Because it's really, really important that you pick a business that has the ability to grow, that there is a pain that you're solving and you can clearly identify what that pain is and you can clearly connect your business to that pain point that you're solving. People that have created the strongest businesses are ones that are able to really connect the pain point to the business that they're building. All right, the second thing that we wanna make sure that you really do before you even get started is you need to jump in wisely. And what do I mean by that? It means that you need to make sure that you have the financing secure the financing you need to get started, the financing you need to be able to live for the next six months. Here's why. Because you're going to be needing money to get your business up and running and you're going to be needing money for you to take care of your home life and to live. And you can't intermingle those two things together. And if your business isn't creating enough money off the get-go in order for you to pay your bills, you're going to end up taking some of the most crappy jobs because you're chasing sales and they're going to be the least profitable sales. And you're not going to make the money that you think you're going to be. Because when we think about the fact, how am I going to survive? survive? How am I going to keep this business surviving? We make really poor decisions. So it's really important that you have your financing set up so that you can do things the right way. The second thing is, like I said, you're going to be living this business day in and day out. And you're going to have a boss who's horrible. That boss is you. And you need to make sure that you have some of the core things. If you're basically lazy, who's going to be kicking you to get going? Your business isn't going to start rocking and rolling right out the chute. You're going to have to get out there. You're going to have to market. You're going to have to start talking to people. You're going to have to let people know that you exist. So it's really important that you understand that this business is going to take some time to get going. Now, When you listen to the podcast series, there is an episode dedicated to the 13 questions you need to ask yourself before you start. That's definitely an episode you want to listen to because it it just gets you thinking about how you're going to do different things, both financially, you know, emotionally, all these different things that are along the way. So that was a great episode to revisit if need be. And if you're new to the podcast, like I said, uh, definitely check that out because starting a business is not as simple as a lot of times I think people think it is. They just think that, hey, I hate my boss today and I think I can do it better than them. And while that may be true, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be profitable. And profit is the name of the game. And I believe there's another episode about uh, the negative side of being a small business owner. So check that one out too. Uh, We talked about you getting paid in your business because a lot of times people make the huge mistake of how they set up their pay structure because there's two hats that you wear in your business. Uh, You have the employee you that is doing the actual doing and then you have the business under you. And a lot of times what happens is people think when they open up a business, they're just going to go out, do the job, and then they're going to put, you know, they're going to pay their costs and they're going to put the rest of it in their pocket. And it doesn't work like that. Uh, 
uh, especially when you get bigger and you start to grow the business, uh, you're going to take money out of the business for the time that you spend doing the job. And then you're going to make sure that you have a profitable business so that you, the business owner, can be paid out of an owner's draw. But your profits go to two things. We talk about this and I'll touch on it again later, I'm sure. But your profits are going towards your taxes and to putting back into the business and then you take some money. So you really don't have a business until you have a profitable business business. Otherwise, you just have a job. And if your goal is just to provide a job for yourself, then that's one thing. But ultimately, since you are trying to start a business, I highly recommend that you learn how to price correctly and how to structure your business correctly. So this way that you are getting paid correctly out of the business, both as an employee and as a business owner. So we do talk about that in the podcast. Now, one of the biggest things you have to do before you start your business is research. And we have a couple of episodes that are really dedicated to this piece because there's kind of like two arms, if you will. The first part of your research is going to be the standard stuff you need to do to start a business. You need to find out what the city requires, the county requires, the state requires. You need to look into your insurance. You need to look into whether you're going to be a doing business as or if you're going to open up an LLC. You need to look into is there additional training that is required Do you need to have special licensing? Do you need to have license bonding? Stuff like that. There's all kinds of stuff and a whole list. And there's a checklist that we give you in those episodes for you to be able to uh, go through and find out, do you need those items? So please make sure that you do your research on all of those things. And in case you're wondering, there is an entire episode dedicated to the doing business as versus an LLC for those of you that aren't as familiar with what that is. Now, the other thing that you're going to do a lot of research on is your competition. Uh, Competition is one of those things where a lot of times we come out the chute saying, oh, I'm just going to be better than them. Well, your competition is there for a reason. One, some of your competition is doing some great things and you want to be able to copy them. So by you doing your research, you're going to be looking at the good and the bad. So don't go into it just thinking that you're going to research all the different things that they're doing wrong. You want to find out what they're doing right. Remember, people are in business for a reason. They might be horrible at customer service, but they're great at what it is that they do. And people are willing to overlook the, the customer service part because they love their workmanship. Or it could be the other way where somebody's great at customer service and their workmanship is absolutely horrible, but people are willing to use them because they fall for all of the great customer service. Uh, you want to find out what's going on. And by the way, don't get hung up, whether it's a small business or a brick and mortar or a big business from out of town. They all have something that you can learn from them. Now, another word of caution when you're doing your research, sometimes they might have a lot of sales, but they don't have a lot of profit. Our goal is to get you sales, but more importantly, to get you profit. Remember, it's not about how much you sell, it's about how much you keep. So having all the sales in the world doesn't mean anything if you aren't profitable. Sometimes you're going to come across a competitor that is going to have tons of sales, but in the reality is they make no money, which is why they do so many sales. They chase everything under the sun in hopes of getting the profit that they need to be able to do their business. Now, from all that research, you're going to build a business plan. Now, you may not need the traditional business plan, but you do need some kind of plan of attack to getting your business going. And in those episodes, we talk about what is a business plan and what I call a success blueprint, which is just basically setting up the plan of how you're going to grow your business. And that's where your research really gets put to use and taken from that concept to really build what your business is going to look about. Now, some of the other concepts, not necessarily in this order that we talk about throughout the podcast is the difference between branding and marketing. Remember, branding is what the customers are saying about you. What does the community think about you? When they hear your name, what is it that they think? When you think of advertising and marketing, that's different because advertising and marketing are the steps you take to get your business out there. And don't forget, word of mouth is the number one marketing advertising that you can do. And it's absolutely free. And you do that by providing that great customer service and outstanding workmanship. But we go over a lot of different ways that you can market your business, most of them for free because you don't have a lot of money when you're first starting your business. So we will talk about that. But please make sure that from day one, you really understand branding and what it is that you're trying to build. What is it that you want the community to be thinking about? Because when they are doing that number one form of marketing word of mouth, it's your brand that's getting out there. So if people think of you as, oh yeah, that's the place that is never on time, that's the brand you've created for yourself. So it's really important that you keep in mind the branding you wanna have and then attack the marketing because you're gonna use the branding to tie into the marketing. 
you want to make sure that you're priced right. We actually go through and we show you some examples of how to price and make sure that you're pricing correctly for that product or service. This is not a race to the bottom. I do not want you becoming a new business where all of a sudden you're the cheapest out there. That is the wrong way to do this. This is not uh, how cheap can I do something. It is about studying those competitors, finding out what you deliver and making sure that your pricing aligns with what it is that you are providing. But also remember, I also talked about you getting paid correctly. This is also about creating pricing that covers you, the employee, and then covers you, the business owner. It's the only way that you're going to make the type of money that you need to do is you need to be priced correctly. Uh, by the way, on this particular one, not only do we cover it here in this podcast, but I have a YouTube channel called the Badass Business Owner channel. And I highly recommend that you subscribe to that if you have not already, because over on the Badass Business Owner YouTube channel, we walk through videos that show you how to price correctly and uh, even more stuff about building your new business and stuff like that. But definitely on pricing, uh, most people are visual learners, so it's really hard to do it through a podcast. So check out the YouTube channel. Uh, badass business owners uh, to help you on that pricing, which ties into knowing your business numbers. We talk about this. Uh, it was missing from the original set of podcast episodes I did, but it is by far the number one thing you need to do from day one is you need to understand your business numbers. You need to understand what a PNL is, a profit and loss statement. It is the report card of your business. And I can't tell you how many small business owners never learn this and then two, three years into it, they come to me going, I'm, I'm, I have all these sales, but I don't make any money and I don't know how to find where do I start. And we always have to go back to the PL because it holds all the answers to what you need to know to make your business more profitable. So I really encourage you to learn your business numbers from day one and to understand what's going on and where your money, it's all about money flowing into your business and money flowing out of your business. Okay. Money flows in through sales. Money goes out through cost of goods. Money goes out through expenses. Money goes out to pay taxes. Money goes out to pay, to reinvest back into the business. And ultimately, if you've done it all right, there'll be money left over for you. So it's really important you understand the flow of money through your business. And once again, you know, doing numbers on a podcast is, can be very difficult. So the the YouTube channel, Badass Business Owners, will be a link in the show notes, uh, will help you quite a bit with learning that information. Now, we also touched on employees. Not all of you guys are going to have employees, but it's important that you understand for some of you, there will be employees uh, or people that you hire off of the streets. And it's important that you understand when you use an independent contractor versus when you hire someone. Uh, we kind of touch on that. I don't go in super deep because most people starting a business aren't going to have employees, but we do touch on it for those that are looking at that. And if you're thinking about buying a franchise or working with your family or an existing business, we talk about about that as well in some of the later episodes. So really what I try to do is I try to go over a lot of the basic stuff that you need to start your business. And if you've been listening through the entire series, hopefully we have hit on all the different items that you need to be able to at least get the business going. And uh, I want you to graduate from this podcast over to the main channel, which is Badass Business Owners. And on Badass Business Owners, we're constantly talking about your business numbers. We're talking about how you can grow your business, how we can grow your profits, how you can improve your relationship with your employees if you have them. I mean, you name it, we talk about it. You know, we try to really keep you motivated and give you the tools and resources you need to be able to make the profits that you want to try to make. So please, if this is, if this is the end of your podcast journey here on the Start a Local Small Business, please make sure you join the YouTube channel if you haven't already and already subscribed to the Badass Business Owner Podcast. And if you're just starting out your journey, feel free to join both of those right now. But uh, head over to episode one and get started on your journey if you want to start a business. Listen, I think one of the best opportunities that are out there today are new businesses. I think a new business that serves your local community specifically is a fabulous way to make a fantastic living and to build some serious wealth. If you actually look at a lot of self-made millionaires, almost all of them, a vast majority of them started with a small business that they themselves created. And even a huge chunk of those are small businesses they started in their community. Not saying you can't grow it beyond that, but there's so much business in every single one of our communities. You know, you you have thousands and thousands and thousands of homes in your community. And a lot of times people want to give up. And the reality is they're serving maybe three, 5% of that community. Uh, and they think they have to go chase business all over the place. And uh, honestly, you don't, you really can make a fantastic living focusing on five, 10, 
20 miles within your home space and build a fantastic business that you can really turn into some serious cash. And as you can tell, I don't want you just jumping right in. I want you to to jump in with your eyes wide open. It's going to be a fantastic, wonderful adventure. But with nine out of 10 small businesses eventually failing, half of those within the first couple of years, I want you to do it the right way because I want this to last for you. I want you to make the kind of money. I don't want you to feel as if you have to go back to the grind of a job working for somebody else. And the key to that is doing it the right way. So please, before you make the leap, take the steps, learn how to do this. And if you want even more detail on starting, there is the course that's uh, in the show notes for starting a small business. Kind of takes all of what we talk about here and just dives in a little bit deeper. So it is very similar, not gonna lie, but it does give you some other tools, resources, some handouts, uh, and talks about them a little bit more in depth. Uh, So it's definitely worth it. It's very cheap course, uh, because my whole goal was just to create something for visual so that people can learn how to start a business as well. So please check that out. With that, I am going to go ahead. And for those of you that are just starting the podcast, get back up to episode one and get going. And for those of you that are graduating and leaving the podcast, I wish you all of the luck in the world in starting your new business. And I am excited for you. And please drop me an email. Let me know how it's going. Tammy at localsmallbusinesscoach.com. Tammy at localsmallbusinesscoach.com. I would love to hear your success story. Uh, It really helps motivate me. And I take that information and use it to help other people in the future. So with that, for the last time on this episode podcast series, I'm going to say Bye for now. And don't forget to check out the YouTube channel in the Badass Business Owner Podcast. Hope to see you over there. And this time, I really mean it. Bye for now and good luck.